Hello, LEGO Dimensioners, and welcome back to another episode of LEGO Dimensions here on iStarly TV. In the last episode, we were doing some multiplayer. Unfortunately, today it's just me, but in the last episode, we defeated the Daleks in the Doctor Who story level. And so now we're advancing the story. We unlocked Doctor Who as a character. Unfortunately, I currently do not own him, so we're going to have to wait a little bit to pick him up for him to join our team. But aside from that, we're just continuing the story, and I believe today we are taking on the DC Comics world, if I'm correct. So let's go ahead and jump on over here. Continue that story. So one of the bigger changes that I'm making to this series that I've decided, I mean, I'm, I'm always open to feedback, so if you have any suggestions here, please let me know. But the main thing that I'm looking at here is splitting these episodes into multiple parts rather than just one giant chunk uh, because I know that these can take quite a long time and if I upload a 45 minute video a lot less people are going to be interested in watching that so we're going to try to balance this how we can but let's go ahead and watch this cutscene <laughs> so the Dark Lord Sauron is in a very modern world, which obviously makes him very out of place, and he's just going to go ahead and wipe all of these people out. And wouldn't you know it, there's a clue stone there, or a keystone, sorry, he's, he's found a keystone that is going to be useful as well. We did unlock the growth keystone in the last episode, I don't remember the exact name for it, but it's the keystone that allows you to shrink and grow, so we will probably be using that one in this in this level. Now it's time for these citizens to run rampant. <laughs> this is Metropolis. Metropolis. It's Superman. Oh, look who it is. Look who's making a cameo here. Superman is actually in this game. Uh, right. You just have to buy him. I think he's released Again. right now, so uh, in the store. So maybe I'll buy him. He's kind of cool. What is that thing, Gandalf? The Dark Tower, where Sauron dwells. If he is here, all is lost. We cannot hope to defeat him without Frodo. Without the uh -huh. One Ring. Oh no. I so the orcs are taking over. I, I, they're not called orcs, are they? <laughs> I haven't watched uh, Lord of the Rings in a while. Anyways, let's go ahead and wander about. Of course we're going to collect some studs. Like these yummy cars. Oh, usually they give more studs, but I guess not this time. Oh, we can jump over this, I think. Batman. We do have Wicked Witch, so she can fly if we need someone to fly. Oh, we can build here. We're gonna need the vehicle, the clown car, or clown bike, whatever it is. Technically, it is a bike. Yeah, it's called the clown bike. Okay, just making sure. Hop right in. That's going to trigger a cutscene with these nice little robots. These nifty little robots. First, let's That's go ahead and do this. Gotta get these it's going to open up this way. garage, and I think it's going to give us a mini kit. But first, we're going to have to use our illumination power, so let's go ahead and switch to Wicked Witch, even though we could have just walked two steps uh, to switch to her, but of course, uh, Homer never does things the easy way. <laughs> so we're going to need to switch Wicked Witch to the right side of the base, so that's what I'm doing here. And that's going to allow her to light up this cavern. I don't think this is part of the uh, like plot. Doing this with the car. Oh, right. At last, a key oh it is. Uh, it appears as though it is. So we've activated the growth keystone. I, I forgot the name of it. We just unlocked it in the last episode. But basically, if you want your character to shrink, I think you move them over to the orange. And if you want them to grow, Joker. I do what believe you move them over you? to the green. And I'm guessing if you want them to return to their normal size, you move them up to the to the top. So. Uh, we need an orange character or a, or a small character here, so what we're going to do is we're going to switch to Homer. No, no, we're going to switch to Wicked Witch. Because she's on the right, and we're going to move her to the left so she can shrink. And that allows her to walk in here. Even though the characters, I mean, they're Legos, so they're already small to begin with, but I guess they have to be even smaller. And we're going to be, be able to push this button, and that's going to open this little force field. And uh, we're going to be onslaughted by these orcs and these robots, so good example of the universes coming together. 
and Sauron is going to tell us how suffering begins now. But I don't really believe him. <laughs> oh, that's a random villager. I was about to smash her. <laughs> Alright, let's collect that heart even though we don't need it. Let's blow up this car. In the DC Comics open world, the cards give you a lot of studs. Here it doesn't look to be the case. Actually, that one gave us a decent amount. I think we need something to unlock this. Yeah, we need uh, the green Lego walls. There's so many different like colors of Legos that that require specific abilities to to get past. And right there, we're gonna need the stealth ability, which of course Batman does have. But first, let's shoot this guy up here. He's being really annoying. He's trying to shoot us down from up there. Oh, it missed. Okay. All right. Looks like we're gonna have to. Uh, appear on his doorstep. Oh, wow. Can I aim? Yeah, there we go. <laughs> there we go. That worked. That definitely worked. And now we're going to switch over to Batman and we're going to activate our stealth, which is going to nicely allow us to get past these security cameras and disable them, somewhere. as it always does. And that's going to activate the keystone here, which again is the growth keystone. And we're going to need another orange character. No, actually, the way you need to do this, this is really interesting here. Uh, first, let's go ahead and beat these guys up because they're going to just be a nuisance if we don't. Why is it saying times two? Am I getting a bonus? I haven't unlocked the thing yet. Oh, well, either way, either way. So the, thing, the way you need to do this here is first, let's switch over to Krusty because he needs to move over to the to the left hand side and he's already on the right and then we're gonna move him over to the left and that's gonna shrink him so this is an interesting little play here so then, so now we're gonna move him under here because if you look at it the what needs to happen is he needs to push that all the way up there for the, for someone else to walk in there and walk across and so what we, what we need to do now is he's shrunk he's standing right there and now what we're going to need to do is move him over back to the right side of the base, and that's going to grow him to super strength. And now that's going to allow us to switch characters. I don't know how Homer is in his giant form. Uh, I didn't do that, but I guess he wanted to be, so... <laughs> and uh, now we're going to need to switch Wicked Witch to her miniature form. That's a little cute Wicked Witch there. I never thought I'd hear myself say that about her. <laughs> but now that Krusty is kindly supporting the uh, the tube here. She can walk through it and that's going to allow her to jump right here and of course she needs to be normal size again so uh, we're going to need to flip her around to the top of the base which is going to grow her back to her original size and that's going to disable this second force. So a lot of teamwork. I do admit that the first time I encountered this type of puzzle with the whole shrinking and growing and pushing that little piece up to the, to the tube um, I didn't know what to do and uh, I promptly learned my, my mistake. Alright, so she's going to go ahead and build the car. We are a little bit slow rolling it to that rule breaker meter. I'm not sure if we'll get there this time. But I always say that and we, we usually end up getting there. Although I think in the last episode we didn't. However, we will, we will be uh, unlocking something fairly soon. Probably within the next couple of episodes. So that we can... Um, essentially guarantee that we'll be getting the rule breaker in, in almost any level but we'll get there we'll cross that bridge when we get there of course these guys are just beating me up the enemies in this game are often they're just more of, of a nuisance than anything else like they're just more of an annoyance than anything else more so than other games with enemies because all they do is just run up to you and just smack on you and like when you're trying to do something it, it really gets in the way but whatever it is what it is. Let's blow up this bus. I mean, it's already blown up, so it's like... It's not like we're doing more damage than is already there, you know? Alright, so I'm guessing we're going this way. I know there is at least one boss fight. I know I've beaten this level before, but I only vaguely remember it. Which is interesting, because it's one of the most recent levels that I've beaten in this game uh, before this playthrough. It actually is the last, most recent, complete level that I beat before I started this brand new playthrough, so... <laughs> it should be pretty fresh in my mind, but the, for some reason the other levels are a lot more fresh in my mind than this one. 
I, I remember one boss fight, uh, and that's about it. <laughs> but of course, you know, as is often the case with these levels, there are usually more than one boss fight per level. So we're going to need to switch over to Wild Style so she can jump high. And again, it's a little puzzle of shrinking. Uh, but first she's going to need to do her usual uh, revealing the hidden objects type of thing. And we need to activate the keystone. So she's going to build a ladder for our characters to come up so that all of our characters have access to this point. And of course we're going to need to switch over to Batman. I don't know where he is, so let's go ahead and bring him up here. Where is he? What's happening? Oh, I think I accidentally hit the uh, clown bike instead of Batman, so it, it rushed me over to the clown bike instead of rushing me over to Batman. I don't know, some of this seems tedious, but it's cool. <laughs> Overall, it's cool. So that's disabled, and we need to find that keystone, which I do believe is right here in this little refrigerator, or this little, uh, what's it called? Vending machine. <laughs> Someone hid that magical keystone in the vending machine. So when I drink my Pepsi, I'm, I'm going to grow to gigantic proportions. Alright, so the way we want to do this now is, let's switch over to Homer. Well, we'll wait till he climbs up here. There you go, Homer. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And uh, since Homer ha naturally has the ability to grow, we're going to go ahead and activate that. Because you need a character with super strength to pick this up. Right? How do I do it? How do I pick it up? No? Don't tell me I have to like manually do it. I think I might have to manually do it. So we're going to go ahead and, and do that with Krusty then. Let's see if we actually have to manually eat. So, yeah, of course we do. <laughs> it's kind of lame, so you can't use Homer's ability for that. Or maybe it just wasn't letting me or whatever. Either way, we've put the piece where it belongs, so now we're going to need to, of course, shrink Krusty this time. He's going to need to help us out again. Krusty's not usually one for helping, but this time, for, for some reason, he is. And, uh, let's see. Same thing, right? Moving back over here. Okay, yeah, definitely. Alright, cool. And then one more time, we need to switch a character over to miniature size. And this time it's going to be Wild Cell. It really doesn't matter. And now that we've um, placed all the pieces where they belong, she's going to be able to push the button and once again disable the force field. And I think that might take us to our first boss fight. I remember something about an elephant. <laughs> I don't know how that has anything to do with DC Comics, but, um, but I like elephants, so I'm fine with it. <laughs> Why do I get the feeling that the worst is still to come? Oh, I, I think I remember the final fight on this one. That's kind of cool. It has to do with the, the tower. Go ahead and knock those guys out. So it looks like Lex Corp is working with Sauron, the Dark Lord. They've turned this place into a prison. I don't know why I said it like that. Enslave all of men. Not on my watch. Look at that. Look how awesome that is. You gotta love that, right? Here we go. Here's the elephant I was talking about. The elephant in the room, so to speak. Joker, or sorry, Two-Face, Two-Face, don't, don't condemn me for that, it was a slip-up, I know, I know that's Two-Face. That was like a, an automatic reaction just calling him Joker, but that is Two-Face, indeed. So our first boss is Two-Face on the giant elephant. And he, as per usual, he has his little coin trick. I get this right half the time. <laughs> she said almost half the time, that's funny. Gotta love her. Gotta love Wild Style, right? Ooh, burn. And as you can see, the Daily Planet is in shambles. So let's go ahead and defeat Two Face here. That elephant's gonna be throwing cards at us. Now, this is a boss fight that I had a little bit of trouble with, so let's go ahead and uh, defeat these guys. I think we have to defeat these guys first. As you can see, there's a counter at the top. And then we are going to be able to. Uh, disable his legs or some, something like that. I don't remember. I, 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 we'll figure it out <laughs> as we always do, right? All right, so we defeated the last of those guys. So let's move onward. And of course, he's going to shoot me there. I'm going to have to move her out of harm's way. I think we need some elemental uh, abilities here. So we need to activate the 
elemental keystone. And there's more waves of enemies to slaughter. And the elephant's gonna continue throwing those cars. There's gotta be some level of challenge here. Where is he? Where is he? That's what Batman says. I did a terrible Batman impersonation. I'm just coming off of being sick. So uh, my voice is not what it used my wonderful voice is not what it used to be. So <laughs> any Batman impersonation I, I attempt is not gonna be the best. Not like it would otherwise, but Oh, he's gonna spray some fire. I think we're gonna need to, co need to come over here, of course, we're gonna need to switch over to Batman to shoot there. Let's pull that off. What, what this is going to do, I believe, yes, there we go, it's going to activate the elemental keystone. And he's shooting fire, so I think we need to be fire. Like, our mixtape is fire, so we're going to go ahead and make Batman fire. And I think that essentially gives us a little shield against his fire. Whoa, there, okay, there we go. I wanted that, that blue stud. Oh, come on, Batman. Alright, let's go ahead and make, no, let's go ahead and make Wicked Witch fire, because uh, she's a fire type. Nah, she's like a poison type. I think I've already said that. She's a dark type. Uh, let's make her fire. And the main reason I want to do this is kind of lame. I, I just want to fly over here and get get the studs. Oh, wait. Actually, we need uh, Chris Pratt over here. With his handsome abilities, he defeats the, um, the vines. Uh, let's see. I think I'm supposed to be shooting these guys so that they stop spraying the fire. See, this is the one that I had trouble with when I was fighting this this boss. Oh, there we go. Okay, it, I, I thought we had to get behind them, but I guess you don't necessarily have to get behind them. All you have to do is shoot them, so that worked. That ended up working. And uh, we can't build these. I think these are only for uh, rainbow characters, which is Unikitty. I did get Unikitty. I do have her now. Unfortunately, however, we have not unlocked her in the story mode yet, as per our rules. <laughs> Can I shoot him with fire? Kill it with fire? Oh, I know what I need to do. She needs to be electric now. And the electricity is going to allow us to disable the legs here. There we go. So, a little bit of a puzzle here. Sometimes, you know, in LEGO games, um, the next objective is slightly unclear, but um, <laughs> we did a good job there. Now we're going to need to switch over to Wild Style. And, of course, that's going to allow us to reveal the Batman logo. <laughs> it's going to make him dizzy. All of our characters' abilities are getting used here. That's pretty awesome. Boom! He falls into that warp hole. That was a really short boss fight. Uh, much shorter than the usuals. <laughs> Alright, uh, let's see. Of course, there's probably... Oh, we need Wild Style. Um, we're going to need a mover to the top. So move with the witch out of the way. And then move her to the right. And back to the left. That required me moving a bunch of characters there. Because Homer was already on the right-hand side. Or I already had three on the right-hand side. So I had to move one out of the way. And then I had to move it back. And <laughs> just a bunch of that. So oh, We're going to use this like ray gun. We have to repeatedly press square, not hold it. And it's going to blast that door right open. Now to find this Sauron guy. Sauron. 